I didn't have pain at all. What is everyone back on Earth doing? I wasn't worried about that. I wasn't worried about anything. And I was overwhelmed with just the peace and the, just the joy and the glory of it all. Pretty quickly after finishing eating, I had a feeling that was heavy in my chest, but just felt like indigestion and didn't really think a whole lot of it. Um, and then I noticed pain in my left shoulder started to kind of go up near my jaw. My breathing was getting a little harder, um, shallow, and uh, all of a sudden I just kind of had a flush of sweatiness, just all of a sudden got real clammy and sweaty. And that's when I really started to think, well, maybe this really is something going on with my heart. So that's when I called for my daughter to come out to talk to me and I let her know I wasn't feeling right, that I felt like I might need to go to the hospital. She's like, call, call 911. And uh, so I did. So they came in and I remember the EMT started asking me questions who I was, how I was feeling, and I started to describe to him the pain and, and what all the symptoms I was feeling. And all of a sudden, I just said, um, my head feels funny. And I said, and my vision. And at that point, all I saw, it was like this veil, this white cloudy veil just kind of came down. And that that was it. The next thing I know is I was, just in a bright, bright place and was just overwhelmed with joy and peace and happiness and just looking around at, at everything or everyone, try, just trying to see who all was there. It was a place of comfort. It was like a familiar place. Like I knew people that I loved were there and I was trying to just looking to see what all was there and who all was there. It was just beautiful. It was just so much, just no pain, no fear, just peace, comfort, joy. Uh, it was just, it was amazing. And why would you want to leave? <laughs> and I didn't. <laughs> As I'm doing all that, I, I hear my name called out and I said, I, no, thank you. I'm like, I, I'm happy here. I'm staying here. I'm, I'm enjoying this. I'm, I'm not leaving this. Then I heard my name again, and I'm like, oh, do I have to answer? I said, maybe if I answer, they'll let me come back. <laughs> so I answered, and the moment I answered to my name, it was it was gone. And, and back right there with the EMTs, no longer in heaven, then they just started letting me know what was going on, what happened, that I had actually had the heart attack. They had to um, perform CPR and shock my heart to get me back. And he said that it was about two to two and a half minutes that I had been um, dead, that had no heartbeat. I ended up having a tear in one of my arteries, a very small tear. They gave me some heart medications and said that I should be all right and that, that it, it should heal up on its own. Um, and that I was only in the hospital for two days and I was able to go home. I really believe the Lord let me go through this for my daughter so that she can have that reassurance and, that, and know, know that heaven's real, God's real, Jesus is real, and it's all worth it. Just to know that whatever you go through on this earth, in this earthly life, as bad and as hard as it is, it's worth it to know Jesus as your savior and to trust God with all you're going through. There is nothing on this earth that can even give you a comprehension of, of how amazing and gl <laughs> glorious the, the peace and the joy is up there. The knowledge of knowing that it, heaven is there waiting on me, on everyone that trusts and believe in him is it's just amazing.